What's up, everybody? Woohoo! Today's a special day, and why it's special, I'll tell you why. I'm doing my first cooking show. Woohoo! It's a cooking show! Everybody asks me how to do certain things. I tell them how to do it, but yet they want to see it. And since I can't do it in front of them, I'm going to do it on this live or kind of live on youtube so what's up youtube viewers my name's darren by the way and today i am doing a homemade recipe that is so simple so easy and it's dietetic as well it's a win-win-win right across the board <laughs> that sounds good doesn't it those are the ingredients and that's what you're gonna need i got chicken thighs out there that you can see i got four of them i took the skin off actually trimmed off the fat the best way that i can as well trying to make it as healthy as possible in the background, you got onion powder, black pepper, garlic powder, and salt. Those are your important ingredients. You're going to need that for both sides of the chicken. That's what you're going to do. You're going to put it on both sides of the chicken, and then you're going to pop it in the air fryer. I'm going to do it for you. I didn't season it yet, and this is today's dinner for me, so let's do that with a little salt. Ah, I ain't afraid of no garlic powder. A little garlic powder. Sprinkle, 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 try to hit every spot. Whoa, a little onion powder. Use any brand you want. Doesn't matter. Generic, non-generic. And then we got pepper for our last one. Just like that, simple stuff. You gotta do both sides of that. I'm flipping it. As you can see, look at me flip. There's Ray Parker Jr. singing in the background. He ain't scared of no ghosts. Why should he? The girl in the video was amazing. Oh my God, that was a cute chick in the video. Those of you that saw the video know what I'm talking about. A blonde girl running around and a teddy. Wow, and a cute blonde girl at that. So that was a win-win-win. We put our onion powder on. We're going for our salt. Now we're going for some garlic powder. I love how he does that part. I'm missing one. Pepper. There you go. Ba, 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 ba. And now that is done. You're going to throw that in your air fryer. And when you throw that in the air fryer, you're going to put it face up. So the skin part, the front part, you're going to do up. The back part, you want down back. The reason for that is because the bottom of it gets hotter and it cooks more on the bottom. And on your first cooking thing, you're going to do more cook time than on your second cook time. That's why. So you'd rather like crisp up the back of the chicken instead of the front part because you're going to create your own skin. That's right, create your own skin. That's the purpose of taking all that fat off and taking the skin off it because you're going to make your own skin. So remember that, put it right side up and then you're going to do it for 20 minutes at 350. Okay, 20 minutes at 350 and then you're going to flip it and then you're going to cook it anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes depending on how how big the chicken is so it depends on that so you're looking at a total of 25 to 30 minutes tops that's cooked at 350 that is very healthy there's very little fat on that there is no skin on that and now we're going to make a big salad let's move this out of the way all right let's do a big salad for you guys there i am finished <laughs> okay that was quick huh not bad huh but with that big salad, you're going to need those same ingredients that you needed for your chicken. Well, I wonder what song is coming up next because Ray's done. So same ingredients, except you're going to add something to it. You're going to add a little vinegar. Oh, give me three steps. What's up, Leonard Skinner? We're going to do a little vinegar as well, making this salad very, very, very healthy as well. What's in that salad is just iceberg lettuce chopped up onions and chopped up tomatoes and that's it nothing else is in there that is low fat you can eat that all day if you want if you want to lose weight and you won't gain a pound that's for sure but sometimes you want that taste of oil and vinegar and stuff like that but oil is bad for you everybody knows that so you got your red wine vinegar you're gonna throw that all over the place make it look nice and pretty red wine vinegar by the way is a no fat burner if you want to lose weight have some red wine vinegar every day. That's definitely going to help you out. No doubt about it. It burns fat. You don't have to do anything for it. It's like a magic fat burner. It's like taking a pill. If the pills really work, only this really does work. Write that down. I don't use salt in my salad for some reason because I don't care for it, but that's up to you. You're going to use your onion powder though. Just do that. Get some onion powder all over the place. Going to throw some garlic powder as well. 
It's giving a flavor, it's gonna taste like that Italian dressing that's all oily and greasy and high fat at the restaurants, except it won't be high fat. And there you have it. If you got some shredded cheese, which I do, I don't know if I'm gonna throw it on or not, just throw some shredded cheese on top, but of course, once you do that, it's not gonna be low fat anymore. Those are the breaks, but still, use the lowest fat cheese if you want. And there you have it. I'm gonna break this up into two segments. This is my first one. My next segment is gonna be the finished results, and then you'll see what we do there. Have a good one, everybody. Hope this is easy enough, and you try it one day.